Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Hey guys and welcome to today's video where we'll be trying Arcadia Reptiles Insecti Gold with not only my leopard geckos but I think we're going to try it with my crested gecko and Jehua since they've really been mad for insects lately. Now for disclosure, if you didn't know, I do work with Arcadia Reptile on their social media pages and YouTube. However, I do not profit from or benefit from promoting or trying out their products. We're actually filming a series called Arcadia Kitchen over on their channel where we go through what's in their diets and how to make them. And so since I was already filming that and someone recently asked me if I could actually make a video trying this out with my geckos, I thought, why not? And the great thing about reviewing or trying out anything with pets is they can't be biased. They either like it or they don't. So the proof is in the pudding and I have no influence over that so it'll be interesting to see their reactions later this evening. And of course if you like videos like this where I try out different things be sure to leave a like. In the past we have tried grub pie, vacuum packed bugs including a centipede and the notorious can o worms. Oh my god I thought that one was just moving. So no. <coughs> oh my god. It just smells like death. We will not be trying those again but I will leave links to those videos below if you'd like to check them out. So, what is Insectigold, who is it for, and when should you offer it to your pets? So, Insectigold starts as a powder, and once you mix it with hot water, it sets as a gel, which you can roll into balls or break into different shapes, whichever works best for your pet. But you can also add it with cool water if you didn't want to activate that gel. So for geckos like Cresties, uh, you might want to provide it like a traditional Crested Gecko diet, I guess. Um, I'm actually going to try it both ways with Lyra and see what she responds best to. So who is it for? So this is actually advertised mainly for bearded dragons, agamids, some amphibians, some species of chameleons, monitor lizards, insect eating geckos, but as I said I will also try it with my crested gecko and Chihua. So when should you offer it to your pets? Now, according to Arcadia's website, it can make up to 60% of the overall diet, which is great. However, from a leopard gecko owner's perspective, where I want that enrichment, that physical and mental stimulation, although you can roll these and make them move like insects, um, I would probably only use these with my geckos as treats um, to add a little dietary variety. However, I think it can be very handy for animals that are recovering and who are struggling to eat um, as it is full of decent ingredients that they will benefit from. Of course, if your gecko is recovering from MBD, I would recommend using a decent UV system alongside this. Um, in the case of say crested geckos you know they can certainly benefit from insects but maybe you have a gecko that just will not hunt it does not go for insects but you really want to increase that insect intake then this can be incredibly handy and it's also helpful in situations where maybe you're prone to getting snowed in or your local reptile shops are out of food due to delivery issues and you need backup. And unlike when I looked at ingredients and the composition of Hikari Leopard Gecko Gel, I only just broke that down in a video, I didn't try it with my geckos because honestly I didn't feel very confident in giving that to my geckos. Um, I feel more confident feeding this one to my geckos and at least it doesn't claim to change your geckos poop. I don't know why you'd want to do that but the Hikari gel did say it would do that. But now on to tasting. So I put the gel in the fridge since I made it this morning but I'll take it out about an hour or so before feeding it to my geckos so it can at least reach room temperature. You really don't want to be feeding your reptiles cold food. So I'm not sure if I made this a bit too runny, but obviously you can add as much or as little water, whatever suits your pets best. But let's first start with Maui. Hi Maui. Hey Maui. Oh. Oh. My goodness you've got like oh god it's hanging from your mouth come here come here oh my goodness okay so Maui is certainly a fan um 
he has taken some chomps out of that. Quite a big dollop compared to Minnie's head. Oh, she's licking it though. Gizmo. She's never really been a fan of these sort of pre made diets, so it would be interesting. If she ends up liking this. Oh my god! <laughs> Diego! Next I'm going to try it with Lyra My Crested Gecko. Now as I said earlier I am going to mix this with just normal cold water if she doesn't like this. She seems kind of interested. Okay, so I'm going to try this version. I'm going to leave it in here overnight and see whether or not she eats it. But as you can see, it's far more liquidy. Okay, Drogo seems to like it. He does like a lot of insects, so that isn't too surprising. But he is licking it similar to the diets he'd usually have rather than hunting it down like it's live prey. If I made this slightly drier, I might have been able to mould it into a little ball or something that I could roll along and get his attention. But other than that, like, he is licking this. If you already use this, let me know what animal you use it with and if you've had success. I think for now, I'll keep it as an occasional treat for Maui and Diego. And as I said, it's handy if um, you're suddenly out of food and you can't get hold of any. Um, now this bag is about 300 grams and I think I used two or three teaspoonfuls and I made far too much than I needed. So I think if you were relying on this, this bag of food would last you a while. And it's only about eight or nine pounds here in the UK, which really isn't bad for how much you get. Um, but yeah, if you want to try it, let me know how you go. But I hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching and goodbye.